Hello my dear students, welcome to Baidu's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine and so in today's daily dose concept, I'll be telling you a great concept or you can say the most uh, doubtful concept that whether a diversion headwork is a wear or barrage. Because many a times you tend to get confused whether it is a wear or barrage. So quickly within few minutes, I'll tell you how to distinguish, how to differentiate between a wear and barrage. Before that, let me quickly tell you, if you don't know about me, you can go through my profile. Next, Daily Dose is both for civil and mechanical engineering students. We have it in our channel. Next, coming further, obviously we know that this wear or barrage is a diversion headwork. This is basically employed so that basically river water can be diverted into a canal. You see, this is not a storage headwork. Dam is a storage headwork where you store the water. But as far as weir or barrage is concerned, this is a diversion headwork. You just divert the flow of water into a canal. You construct it in perennial rivers. Now, how to differentiate? Because generally what happens when you go in the field, somehow you don't know whether it is a weir or barrage. So, quick ways in which you can distinguish. Let's talk about it. So, let me draw. The diagram is uh, freehand. Okay, the diagram is not on scale. Let me tell you. This is known as raised crest and this is known as crest gate. Okay. When the major ponding of water, when the major accumulation of water is due to the raised crest, you call it as weir. Now, opposite to it, when you talk about barrage, as it is also a diversion headwork, when the major ponding of water, the accumulation of water is due to I'll draw it, is not due to raised crest, but it is due to crest gate. Even it will be more, this, this height will be more. So, here the crest gate will be more as compared to the raised crest, you call it as a barrage. So, that is the difference. When you talk about where major bonding takes place due to the raised crest. Well, in case of barrage, major bonding takes place due to the Crest gate. This is the first difference. Never ever in case of weirs you will see that roads or any mode of transportation is there. While in case of barrage you can see that roads are also constructed in it. So that is also one point of difference. Weir is comparatively easier. You can say not that much costly. Cheap as compared to barrage. Okay. Barrage is costlier as compared to weir. Or you can say weir is cheaper as compared to barrage. Third is thing is. Control of water in case of weir is less and control of flow of water in case of barrage is more. So, technically there is a term efflux. Efflux means rise of water level. So, rise of water level in case of weir is more because you cannot control to a much greater extent in the case of weir while the control of flow of water is more in the case of barrage. So, these are the basic points. So, whenever you see that major accumulation of water is due to crest gate, it is a barrage. And when you see roads on it, diversion headwork, it is a barrage. When you have a greater control of water, it is a barrage. Although it is a costlier structure as compared to weir. So, that are the basic differences which you will get to know about weir and barrage. So, guys, for more such videos, subscribe to Baidu's exam prep. Thank you.